Morning, folks. Uh, it's Monday morning. Back out on the uh, cricket pavilion, cricket pitch site. Uh, it's been a bit frosty overnight, a bit misty, a bit foggy. The farm uh, farm fields I've got are too wet, really, so I'm going to try and batter this. It keeps giving, so we'll go over over this again today, see what we come up with, and uh, we'll get back to you with any finds. See you in a bit. First find of the day. Decimal two pence. Now, is that a good omen? Whenever I found a two pence first coin of the day, I've always found a bit of silver. So, fingers crossed. Right, that's my next one. Great depth, about eight, nine inches. And here we have Queen Victoria on penny. And it's 1863, I think. It's in beautiful condition. Cool, let's move on. Well, pretty wet on here as you can see, but uh, we've got a little find here. And I think that's a military cap badge of some kind. Just make out some letters in there, it's folded up a bit. But uh, a little bit too much. Pretty sure that's a cap badge. So we'll give it a clean up. If so, that's a cool find. Okay, let's crack on. Right, we've got a little pistol ball. About four inches. Okay, cool. I've just found this. Big piece of round lead. Quite heavy, I'm not sure if it's a token, but it's, I guess it's a bit big. Um, interesting find, anyway. Okay, let's go up. I just got this a buckle. It's like silver plated on the other side. Quite a nice find. Cool, let's move on. Oh, I think we've got a coin in here. Badly pinpointed, but... Down in there. Let's fetch it out and see what it is. It's in good condition. Cool. Another well, coin. Let's carry on. Okay, I just found this one. Pretty smooth. It's Vicky. And I can't see a date on that. One penny. Okay, cool. Let's crack up. Well, I've got another one sitting there at the top of the sod. With a penny, I think. Uh, 
What's in this light? Jules is sick. Jules. Can't see. It's a penny though. Give it a clean up. Cool. Let's crack on. Good morning. It's uh, Tuesday. Back out on the Cricket Pavilion site. That's where it's situated in there. Uh, been having a think overnight. <coughs> I've lots of coins around here. Uh, cricket pitch would have been on here. But there's this little ridge along here. Now, I reckon that would have been a good vantage point to watch the cricket, apart from back over there by the pavilion. <coughs> so I reckon I'll have a hunt along here. Because once they're fallen asleep through boredom, they might have lost all the coins out of their pockets. Just a theory of mine, but we'll give it a blast. And uh, I'm going to go over the back here as well today. Loads of space to, to work on still, but um, <coughs> got my lucky socks on. So uh, let's hope we find something good. I'll get back to you with anything. See you in a bit. Just dug this one. George the Sixth. Ship Apney. 1942. Okay, it's a start. It's got to be more. Okay, let's crack on. Oh, uh, well, I just took this hole and I can see something poking out there. And it looks very silvery to me. Yeah. Um, it's a shilling. Nineteen forty one. So that would be George the Sixth, yeah. Cool. That looks a bit knackered that one. That's fifty percent silver, isn't it? Good find though. Let's carry on. Right now, I just took this one out the mud. It looks silver to me, but it's very fragile. Yeah, it's a, it's probably a brooch or something. In fact, I think I can see some hall marks there. But um, I don't want to rub this because it's really thin. So we'll give that a clean up. That looks really cool. Well, cool that is. Okay, let's move on. Well, I'm excited, excited, excited. Just took a hole, flip that out, and that is sitting there. Oh, focus. What is it? Silver. Oh, look at the condition. Of that. What is it? Uh, one florin. 19, 1912. Oh my days. George V. Look at the condition of that. Oh my god. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, oh man, I love that. Oh. Right, there's got to be more. Let's get hunting. Oh, cool. Okay, let's carry on. Oh, 
I just took this. Um, I think it says half penny on it, but it's, it's not like any half penny I've seen before. It's got some detail on it. Uh, I think I know what that is. I've seen these before. Uh, it's got a date. Seventeen. Is that ninety-seven? It's a token. Definitely a token. And it's in not bad condition either. It's quite sandy the soil here, so these sort of uh, Georgian coppers, pennies and tokens come out quite well. That's cool. I'll give it a clean up anyway. Let's move on. Well, they're jumping out at me today. Another one here. It's like a penny. Not much detail on that one. Uh, could possibly be Georgian that. The uh, feel of it. But we'll give it a clean up anyway. Another coin. Let's move on. Right. I just took that from it's about six, seven inches. I'm not sure on that, but it could be a could be like a little trade weight. I don't know. It's quite interesting. Okay, we'll give it a clean up anyway. Let's move on. Just took this, it wasn't very deep. Uh, three inches. Little mini ball, lead bullet. Cool. Let's move on. Right, folks, I dashed off uh, without saying thanks at the end of the video. I'm home now. Um, just tip that lot out. Finds pouch, that's the stuff that I found yesterday. Okay, the first half of the video. That's what I've got today. Obviously, you'll see this at the end of the video. Uh, there's two silvers, that's that brooch, uh, all need cleaning up. Um, I'm sure that's a trade weight, clean it all up anyway. Uh, loads of junk, but uh, cool finds there, three bits of silver. Thanks for watching, subscribing, commenting, appreciate that you all do, and I'll see you all again next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.